Okay. It was already time for dinner by the time we got back, but Konomi chan said she wanted to come to my room. Um, sure. She drew in surprisingly close. Y yeah. I don't really mind. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, forcing another yeah, scene. Yeah. <laughs> I think she had an. I think she's probably come up with something. A, a great idea or something. For the scene. For the next. Yeah. Next scene. Wah! I was practically dragged into the building. <laughs> this is unusual. Konami chan could eat quite a bit despite her tiny build. Perhaps because of how athletic she was? She would never skip a meal to go on a diet like most girls these days. In fact, she was super happy whenever the meal bell rang. It was certainly rare for her to ignore a meal for something else. Okay. The moment we got into the room. I think she's really dying to do it, that doesn't she? <laughs> uh, she suddenly embraced me. I was a bit surprised. The hug was extremely passionate. Once my surprise passed, I was overcome with joy. I didn't know the reason for a sudden embrace, but I was obviously happy. After a short while, Konami chan lifted her head. Her eyes were beautiful in the dimly lit room. <laughs> Ah, uh, so you because of your parents' blessing and your grandma's blessing, yeah. So like, you couldn't control your emotions earlier. You're trying to keep it to yourself. You now you're just letting it all out or something. Yeah. Ah, it's about that. Okay. Ah, I brushed her face. You were really worried about your title, weren't you? The Mignan Pupe? It hadn't come up much lately, but her title of Lame San's Mercy must have been a point of pride for her. Yes, that title too, yes. Lame San's Mercy. The dignified way you carried yourself was really cool. I'm really glad that I went to the lodge on a whim back then. Uh, yeah, because otherwise we wouldn't have, you know, gotten together. What I had said about the Naginata acting as a mediator fate was true. And if that were true, then the choice I made back then had to be a fork in my destiny. Sure thing, Konomi. Oh. Here we go, we're doing it now, I think, most likely. It started with a soft touch, but immediately became deeper. If this kept up for too long, I doubted I would be able to keep standing. After squirming my hips around, Konami chan broke away. <laughs> yes, yes, something is hard. You know, a piece of rock or something. <laughs> Konami chan pressed herself against my thigh on a, of her own accord. Ah, that unusual obscene gesture made me gulp. Oh yeah? I yeah? See? We are gonna do it! Yes, the second scene. Ah. Yeah, this, see, this is the main reason why she's groaning. That she really wants to do it, that's why so nervous. Uh, that's what it was. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I'm really very hungry right now. And I really mean hungry right now. Yeah. But rather than food, I will sooner eat you. Ah, Konami doesn't know. She's so naive. <laughs> she didn't seem familiar with the somewhat slangy expression I had just used. It means I want to have sex with you. 
Let's move to the bed. Alright. We migrated all the way to the dojo the first time. But I didn't feel like taking things so slowly right now. Yeah, let's just get right down to it. Konomi-chan was oddly assertive today and took the initiative to straddle me. Um, sure. Y yeah, of course. Oh, what's that? that? Oh no, we're doing the 360. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, the, what you call it? Or you call it 619 or something? <laughs> yeah, this position, this is the classic, one of the classic poses. So, yeah, this would be a yeah, good place to you know, stop here and fast forward. So, yeah, enjoy this scene while as we, as you. As I'll describe what happened later, so I'm gonna fast forward and describe, it, summarize what's gonna happen yeah, in this scene. So, see you in a bit. <coughs> so, yeah, as you know, that was the 619 position. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, basically, the usual thing. Uh, Konomi started, took the initiative first. She took the initiative to you know, lick the ice cream. Yes, and then lick from top to bottom. And also to kiss the thing. And then, how did she learn about this 619 thingy? <laughs> but actually, it's 69, but. <laughs> uh, it's from the novel, obviously, from the novel that she read. So, and she also finds the ice cream pretty cute. Okay? So, and the economy also said that she loves the smell of Masai's sweat, even though Masai hasn't showered. And so, Masai also said the thing when she. when he did the same, you know? Uh, you know, the. consuming the honey. <laughs> yeah? So anyway, the when Konomi taste, uh, taste the ice cream, yeah, it made him made us uh, arch backwards. So yeah, you know, and they both said that I love it as long as it's yours. So yeah, and then uh, Konomi did say that she had never looked at her you know private part before. Uh, yeah, so when she check it for the first time, is to check whether she wasn't injured. So it must have been really painful for her. But, but that being said, she couldn't compare whether it's different from last time because it's the first time she's saying she's seeing it, right? So then Masaya said, assured her that it's nothing strange. So then I don't know. There's a strange line that said Masaya said something about. Does that mean? Is this what it means by, you know, it tasting like a drug? <laughs> well, it sort of is, I guess. Okay. Then I get a choice, a very cho unique choice, different from other routes. I get a choice of whether I should tell Konomi that she doesn't need to push herself or encourage her to try her hardest. Because uh, Masai was thinking of just asking Konomi to come to him, but <coughs> Konomi doesn't want to do it alone. She wants Masai to do it with her. That's where the option comes in. Obviously, we want both of them to, you know, come together yeah, and try their hardest. So we, I choose the second option, I encourage her to try her hardest. And so they did it and then, yeah, both of them come together and then finally Konomi said something about, your seat is mine, your seat is mine because uh, Masaya said, I'm sorry for, you know, spouting so much, but yeah, Konomi said it's fine. So now we're going to go to the main action proper and this is what's gonna go down now so let's see what's gonna happen here <laughs> what why are we gonna hit outside we're not gonna hit outside in this box no <laughs> what are you talking about Konobi? <laughs> but yeah this position is not new we've seen this position before I think the last time I've seen this position was Ritsuko. <laughs> so, yeah, as usual, I cannot, you know, I'll have to fast forward here and I'll summarize what happened in a bit. So, see you in a bit. <laughs> yeah, so that was the action that happened. <laughs> so, basically, uh, that position, you know. Uh, so, 
basically what Masai did was to entice Konomi, uh, you know, her rose by touching the flower buds and biting her earlobes. Yeah, and also whisper provocative sweet nothings into her. And then Konomi asked a kind of a strange question, asking, uh, "Are you sure I'm not heavy? Because if you notice that CG, Masai was carrying Konomi with one arm and the other arm doing something else." So. Yeah, but the economy is not really heavy, quite light, in fact. Okay, so then they just do it, and the first time they did it, then the economy went to say, This is true baby making. <laughs> that kind of made me laugh, no? True baby making. So, and then they did it again the second time. Then that's when they confessed to their, each other, I love you, economy. Uh, then economy, I love you too. And actually, the first time they did it, and after economy said this is true baby making right uh, Masai said kind of regret doing doing this but when they did it the second time he's like ah heck it since we already come this far might as well go all the way <laughs> so and second time usually there will be a choice right whether you want to out, outside or inside but this time there's no such choice it just automat it just automatically defaults to outside so they, yeah, he did it outside the second time. So yeah. So after all that thing, all the action and all that, they're feeling hungry, and I really mean hungry for food. Okay, not for each other, but for food. So and they did specify how long they took to do all that. Two hours. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely long enough. Two hours. <laughs> so. Now I wonder what they're going to do. Probably they're going to find food because they said they're hungry. Or are we going to fast forward? So let's let's find out. Yeah, I think we're going to fast forward here. So yeah, as we come to the halfway point of the final chapter, so we still have halfway more to go before Princess Evangelion is over. Ah, we're going to miss this. Oh, we already fast forward to February 18, the Grande vote. I think we're gonna lose. We're definitely bound to lose. <laughs> and then, time passed. The day of the Grande vote had finally arrived. Please prove me wrong, game. When the vote was over, we all moved to Maria Hall. But I don't think, yeah, I think Masai is gonna lose anyway, so. Volunteers for the Red Rose Society will be counting the ballots, and as a special exception, ex-officers of the White Lily Society would also be present. It was just past noon when the results came in. You don't look happy, we say. Kind of lonely. Yeah, kind of, yeah. It's not just your school life, your life as a whole, yes, having a goal in life is important. Yeah, see? <laughs> ah, Masaya is leaving. Hey, why are you just assuming I'm leaving? Okay, it's not actually confirmed. But from the looks of it, most likely, yeah. I mean, from the past four routes, it's been like this, so. So, yo. <laughs> Sorry, we say, but we have to be realistic. As optimistic as we should be, we have to be realistic as well. <laughs> Tamiya san looked for our agreement with a bit of a strained smile. <laughs> Yeah, what are you even doing, Rise? <laughs> Rise, you shouldn't be pushing the blame when you're not even doing anything. <laughs> there wasn't a single speck of doubt clouding her confidence. Tamiya san had concluded her approval rating research at the end of the second term. Unfortunately, what she said was true. It didn't seem as though anything which could turn things around had occurred in the third term. Well, the theory is, Rise did nothing. <laughs> 
Wrong of you to say? She said that she glanced over at me. Hmm? Me? Mm. Should I excuse myself? Tamiya-san was unusually evasive considering how blunt of a personal of a personality she had. グランデボートには、あんまり関係ないんじゃないかしら。いや、that's <laughs> yeah, I I have a feeling it has to do with you know, the both of them doing it. Yeah, had spread. Those rumors have spread. It's hard to, for me to say when I don't know what you're going to mention. But sure, try me. Tamiya san nodded. Okay, it's not the doing it, but yeah, the couple thing, they still finding it hard to grasp this reality. We were also aware of that. Yeah, something to do with Konomi being in the intermediary course and Masaya being in the uh, uh, final course. So, different courses, yeah, different streams, levels. So, yeah, I mean, that, you know, Fun Sense culture is very old fashioned. So, yeah, they are, most of them are against it. あ、お、sorry。みんなは結局最後まで納得できなかったみたいなのよ。納納得と言いますと。Hold me her for more acting quite shock. I think this is definitely one of a kind rule because all the other four and other story girls roots, right? All the other girls they are they are accept they accept know their their relationship with Masaya but Konomi's case is different yeah right the Lame Sans Mercy yeah? and they couldn't get over that image yeah Konomi Chan and Ritsuko Chan faced each other yeah, the big name Pupe. But big name Pupe has to do with Darling Door. What? So Darling Door can't have a boyfriend? <laughs> well, <laughs> anyway. Okay, part of it. That's more? それこそ、マサヤさんにはもう仕分けない話なんだけど。ああ、オッケー。単たとるセルパンギは、いつも再燃していたのよ。ああ。イジビカスオブザアニマシティトゥワーツ、ザマサヤアンコノミスリレーション
しはもいかないって。このみのこといくつだと思ってるのよ。That's how old fashioned Vansen's culture is, so you know they are, they are very narrow minded, so. そう。それは深淵の謎ですが。とにかく、その二つが合わさって。いらぬ反感が生まれてしまったというわけなのよ、多分。So, マサイ is definitely gonna lose.This <笑> one is 100%. はい。イメージというのは、なんとなくわかります。このみちゃん drooped her shoulders。私自身、それについて気にしていた時期がありましたから。うん、yep。まあでも周りにどう思われたっていいじゃない2人はうまくいってるんでしょ Yeah, actually we don't really care about what the others think It's just sad that Masaya is leaving though <laughs> もちろんです毎晩のように走っています<laughs> Show love for each other just about every other night Oh yeah, oh yeah We totally make love every night Yeah <laughs> そ,そこまでは聞いてないけどね<laughs> So you see, Tami san really saying that, oh, you're definitely going to leave even though the results are not yet out. <laughs> We are losing, don't worry. So be realistic. This is an interview? だって気になるじゃない。あたしたちはもちろん知って。バンセーヌの人たちもみんながみんな反発しているわけじゃないもの。Well, majority of them are. だったら、今後どうするつもりなのか知っておきたいところよね。Yeah. I was grateful for that. I wonder if anyone cared what happened to me before I had come to Van Sands. Debt collectors were the only ones who actively keep, kept an eye on me. Talk about a hilariously unfunny situation. <laughs> hilariously unfunny. How is, it, how is it hilariously unfunny? It's unfunny yet funny at the same time. Okay. <laughs> But things are different now. Even if, if I did end up being expelled, that single fact made me feel it was worth coming to Van Sands. But of course, getting to be with Konomi chan was the best thing of all. If I do end up getting expelled, the first thing I'm going to do is to re enroll at my old school. And don't forget your promise with Konomi's parents that you're going to work at the dojo. Also, I made one other decision. Yeah. Oh, Konomi, that's later. That's later. <laughs> Actually, we should marry first before even thinking about making babies. Come on now, Konomi. No, that's not. That's something we、we'll、need to discuss after getting married. Yeah. Oh, Konomi. This wasn't anything of the ordinary, but everyone had warm smiles on their faces. Yeah, actually. Yeah. So, so, are we going to the future? We're fast forwarding into the future. Okay. So, this is a quite a long white screen. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> well, probably we'll cut this part a bit. Well, that, that's quite a rather long pause. <laughs> like, I think it's really a big time skip right there. So, yeah. But I think, yeah, from the looks of it, we're coming near the end. Today marked the beginning of our long awaited summer vacation. Okay, so it's not that far into the future. It's just probably like、uh, the next year. Yeah, after Masaya was expelled from the school, from Van Sands. As soon as Konomi chan made it back to the house, we immediately headed out on the date. Oh, yeah, date or. Oh. Did you get a little taller? Yeah, she kind of looks a little taller and more mature, even. Yeah, she's a woman now. 
and her hairstyle looks a bit different too, somehow. Yeah, yeah but it's a nice scene, you know, a walk in the park, walk near the in the shopping district, you know, Konomi holding Masaya's hand, arm. <laughs> yeah. Mm, it seems like it to me. Maybe it's just because we haven't seen each other in a while? Mm, okay. <laughs> thank you. I've been eagerly waiting for summer vacation. Only getting to talk through letters is so lonely. Oh, they talk through the traditional way of letters. I but yeah, can't make sense because they can't talk through cell phones and all that because of one sense. Yeah. No changes at one sense? Changed a little? Is it because they all miss Masaya? <laughs> okay, so back to always. I see. In the end, school reform was rejected, just as Tamiya san predicted. I ended up leaving Vansens, but not getting to see Konomi chan whenever I wanted anymore was hardest on me of all. Our relationship was essentially long distance now, but calling or exchanging emails was out of the question. All we could do freely was write letters, but written exchanges were extremely down on their own. Well, they are they have a special meaning in some way, so seeing that it's quite rare and all, so I suffered through many nights staring at Konomi Chan's picture in its frame or oh, Masaya. But the joy I felt now that we could touch one another like this again washed all that weariness away. Ah, you might be the same height, but... Did your bus get bigger? Mm, I wonder... Maybe? <laughs> well, you can always measure on your own. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> you want me to check for you? Sure, no problem, we're gonna do it again, yes! <laughs> yeah, tonight, okay? <laughs> oh. Just as we were flirting like so... Oh, who's there? Footsteps suddenly drew near, and several children popped out of nowhere, oh? It's the young master! Oh, Chao A, is it the... Oh, is it the, like, the... the Those kids at the... At Konami's dojo? So Masai also became a master... Yeah, helping out at the... Dojo. Oh, it's you guys. He's linking arms with a woman! Uh... Cheater, cheater, let's go tell the instructor. Hey, all of you, what are you talking about? She's my. Um. Well, this is totally unexpected. <laughs> well, this is totally unexpected. I didn't expect this scene. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this scene at all. Um, Konomi, I'm not cheating, alright? <laughs> I'm not cheating on you. They're saying I'm cheating. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> I'm not cheating on you, Konomi. But this is the first time we see Konomi get so angry. Uh, whoa! She tucked on my arm with incredible strength and nearly toppled me over. No, the, don't don't believe the kids. Don't believe what the kids say. They're talking nonsense. Listen, it's not like that. Uh, uh. me, please don't slice me in seven parts. <laughs> Thanks. No, come on. 
Looks like her habit of getting ahead of herself was alive and well. <laughs> this is totally unexpected, I wasn't expecting this. Some flames of hell. Stop! Konami chan! Who do I have in my sights right this moment? <laughs> Who is the girl right here right now? That these kids are saying I'm cheating with. <laughs> wow, good save there, Masaya. <laughs> These kids joined some time after April. They haven't gotten to meet you yet. Yet, Konami chan. Oh, right. Yeah, so they are from the dojo, yes. <laughs> hey, hey, young master. What are you talking about? Making excuses? Not even close. <laughs> Just as he is, young master. The instructor. Your grandmother started calling me that. Since I'm going to be the groom to the successor. Oh yeah. <laughs> These children knew that I was to be the future husband of the successor. But they didn't know who exactly that vital successor was. Well, this girl right here is the successor. So better tell the kids. That had led them to this strange misunderstanding. I mean, I'm sure your grandmother was serious about it. But everyone else seemed pretty amused. Always going, Young yeah, master, young yeah, master. He's a real pain. Oh, <laughs> Konami's grandmother keep calling him grand, uh, young master. Yeah, you can see that Konami's clearly delighted. Hadn't seen that reaction in a while. Everyone, this is the successor to the dojo. And my Kanojo, my girlfriend. Oh, so you were cheating? Of course not! Dan, so lame! Hey, they ran away. <laughs> Heesh. They sure don't pull any punches. <laughs> Baba! Konami chan seemed impressed. Hmm. Calling someone with my abilities a young master doesn't really sit with me the right way, so should just call you the master. <laughs> yes. I became a disciple at Zansei Hall at the same time I left Fun Sense. Nice. At least, you know, it's kind of a bittersweet ending. I mean, we left Fun Sense for better things. Better things just like the other four and other story routes. Likewise, I had been given a room in the building and was staying there. I had essentially become part of the Yanase family. <laughs> Thanks, Konami, thanks. Yeah, hearing you say that makes me happy. Well, sure, we can have our date at the dojo. Yeah, spa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, bring it on, Konami. <laughs> you really haven't changed a bit, Konami-chan. You're still you, don't worry. That's why I love you for. Oh yeah. But is Naga Naginata first or me first? Of course me first, right? <laughs> you Alright. Okay. So yeah, this is a perfect ending. So That's it then. Oh, it's over! It's all over! This is the final episode of the Princess Evangelion Double Happiness playthrough. So, I guess I'll just let this playthrough since this will be the last time. Uh, we're gonna listen to this song and this ending. So, what I think of Yam, uh, Konomi's route, it definitely is a very, very funny route. I think of the five and other story routes, Konomi's route is definitely the Funniest, yes, that's for sure. And that last scene was totally unexpected. I think the developers really did well bending in the humor, because that's Konomi for you. So, so yeah, that's it then for Princess Manju Tapi. So, of these five routes, which is my favorite route? My favorite route. Huh? I'm not actually really sure, but I think if you we don't talk about story, if you talk about girl wise. I would say 
I would say Mitsuki and Marika are my favorites. Yeah, both of them are quite equal. But I think I, will, I prefer Mitsuki a bit more. What about Ruiko? Well, of course Ruiko is great, but her route's kind of disappointing, in my opinion. Yeah, no offense to Ruiko. Ruiko is a great girl. It's just that her route doesn't do her justice. Yeah. Then, um, what about Tamiye? Tamiye's route, I guess, is okay. I also, oh, I do love Tamiye's personality, yes. But in terms of best girl, I would say that I like, it's a, it's between Marika and Mitsuki, but I think I like Mitsuki more. Mitsuki is something that, it's a route that surprised me the most, because, yeah, because, uh, the, I, how, how do I put it? Like, uh, Mitsuki's personality is really something we rarely see. It's something when how she reacts to Masaya and that is something really rare we don't see. Actually, that also applies the same for Tamiya's. Yeah, Tamiya showed a side that we never saw before in the main game. So, and actually, that's why I like about Mitsuki and Tamiya's roots. Yeah, but yeah, but Tamiya's root as a whole is okay. So, but overall. Overall, I do of course love all the girls, right, so I do love all the girls, but I think Mitsuki's, if I have to rank, okay, this is just my personal opinion, so don't take it too hard, I think the best route is probably Mitsuki, followed closely by Marika, then Tamie, then Konomi, and finally Ruiko, I'm sorry, uh, in terms of the route only, no offense to the girl, Ruiko, if you're talking about best girl though, hard to choose. <laughs> I do like all the girls, so no judgment with regard to best girl. Okay, but but Kobe is definitely the best girl right? because of her personality, just that her root that didn't do her justice, so yeah. Okay, so so that's it then, you know. That's pretty much it. Uh, for Princess Evangel Double Happiness, I I ho hope you guys that enjoyed my playthrough, my commentary. So you know, it's been a long ride, okay. And so we're ending this at fifty nine or fifty nine episodes, right? So yeah, it's been a long ride, and I hope you guys, for those who have watched, or my episodes of Princess Evangel Double Happiness up to this far. I thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for you know supporting me up to this far. So now that I'm done with Princess Evangel, I guess there are a couple more vision novels that I have put on the hiatus because I figured I want to fully focus on Princess Evangel Double Happiness and you know finish it all the way up to now. So now that I'm done with Princess Evangel Double Happiness, I guess I'm going to do. I have. I did mention in the comments before about doing Doki Doki Literature Club. I've only done the first episode so far. Uh, only thing is that Doki Doki Literature Club has no voiceover, so I have to do the voiceover. So I'll try my best to do female voiceovers and try to differentiate them if possible. And there's also other vision novels that I definitely want to continue playing, like. Um, what was it? Uh, the the wonderful everyday, yes. And what else? Uh, the there's one more. The the latest vision novel released by Wing Cloud is a pretty quick one. Uh, I, and I don't ref I don't mean Sakura, uh, Halloween is and now and the Legend of uh, Tanadia or something like that. Yeah, that one seems interesting. According to Wing Cloud, it says that this vision novel has a serious story. So how serious can it be? I'm gonna find out. So, but I think I will s move on to Doki Doki Literature Club first, then followed by that Legend of Tanadia. And I know that there's a recent vision novel that caught my eye, uh, that recently released by Sekai Project called Saku Saku. I'm not sure if I want to play that though, but um, I know there are other more prominent vis uh, vision novel players like Luda. They are, you know, and. Yeah, Luda, they are playing it right now. He's playing it right now. So, and I've watched snippets of his playthrough, and it's pretty interesting. So, I don't know if I want to pick it up. So, uh, 
you know so if you want me to play just let me know so that being said i'll be playing doki doki literature club next but if you guys have any you know vision novels any suggestions that you want me to play feel free to voice out in the comments below and i'll gladly take a look at them so yeah that being said once again thank you thank you guys so much for you know watching up to this far and i hope to see you again in another uh vision novel playthrough okay wherever that may be so i'll see you around and yeah continue supporting me i hope you guys enjoyed my commentary i hope i've done a good job if there's any room for improvement do let me know so yeah thank you guys so much for watching again and i'll see you in another vision of a probably doki doki literature club next so see you then so adios princess if you double happiness it's been a it's been a right great ride so see you till then